Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In this video we're going to continue considering the subject of SI units. So if you haven't already done so then please click the link in the description below because you'll be able to download the worksheet that goes along with this series of videos and we'll show you how to fill that in as the video progresses. So in this video we're going to consider two different subjects. We're going to consider inductance and capacitance and find out what those SI units are. Now for these subjects uh, I've created other videos that go into these things in a little bit more depth uh, so remember this is just a brief description followed by the SI units that we use and then uh, we'll fill in the worksheet and that's the information that you need at this stage. Now both of these subjects are really important for electricians. We'll demonstrate why. So here I've got a conductor, just a piece of uh, copper wire that's insulated. If I take this conductor and I wrap it into a coil, what I've done there is I have created an inductor. So that is all an inductor is. It is just simply a coil of wire. Now that may seem like a very, very simple thing and that may not strike you as being very important, but actually this principle of wrapping a conductor into a coil is the basis for an awful lot of the machinery that we use uh, in industry and also increasingly to get ourselves around in cars because this is the basis for motors, uh, generators, transformers and other important electrical things that make our modern world work the way that it does. Now one feature of a coil is that if you run electricity through here it is able to generate electricity either into another coil or back into itself and that quality is what we call inductance. So inductance is very simply the ability of a coil to be able to generate electricity either in another coil or back inside itself and its inductance is a measure of how good it is at that. So the higher the value of inductance, the better the coil is at generating electricity either in another coil or back inside itself. Now generally speaking, the mathematical symbol that we use for inductance is a capital L as you can see here. There are occasions when we use a capital M instead because L strictly speaking refers to self-inductance, so how good the coil is at generating electricity back inside itself, and M stands for mutual inductance, so how good the coil is at generating electricity inside another coil. But for our basic formulas generally we tend to use the capital L for inductance. The SI unit for inductance is the Henry, named for Joseph Henry, who invented uh, insulated wire, which obviously is really important when you're creating a coil to stop it from shorting itself out. And the unit symbol that we use is a capital H for Henry. Okay, so that's our SI units for inductance. Now let's talk about capacitance. Now capacitance describes the quality that a capacitor has. So a capacitor is very simply just two sheets of conductive material held very close to each other but not touching, that's really important, and generally it will have some kind of insulating layer between those two to stop them from touching. It can simply be air, it can be made of other things, and for more information on this there'll be future videos coming out that go into the construction and nature of capacitors in a lot more detail. But that is essentially a capacitor. Two sheets of conductive material separated from each other by some kind of insulating layer, and sometimes it is indeed a piece of paper that does that. Now a capacitor is basically like, it's kind of like a bottle for electricity. You can temporarily store a fairly small amount of electrical charge inside this capacitor and reuse it at a later date. It's really important to understand that capacitors behave very differently when they're connected to DC electricity uh, versus when they're connected to AC electricity and those differences mean that we use capacitors for different things in different circuits but again more on that in future videos. Capacitance is a measurement of how good the capacitor is at storing that little bit of electrical charge. So the mathematical symbol that we use for capacitance is a capital C for capacitor and the unit that we measure it in, the unit is the Farad, named for Michael Faraday, uh, again one of the early uh, scientists who did a lot of uh, experimentation and exploration into the world of electricity. The unit symbol that we use after the number is a capital F for Farad. 
So typical exam questions, again, we're just looking at this from an SI unit point of view at the moment. There's lots of questions that you might get asked about uh, inductors and their nature, but again, please see different videos for that. Uh, so the typical exam questions that you'll get for these based on the SI units is, uh, again, what units are they measured in? So what is the unit for inductance? What is the unit for capacitance? What are these things measured in? Uh, what's the mathematical symbol? Uh, I think the capacitance one is fairly easy to remember because that's just a capital C. Uh, but if you get asked what is the mathematical symbol for inductance, it's really important to remember that it's most likely to be that capital L. So try and uh, bear that in mind as you go into your multiple choice assessment because it will come in really handy. We will be using uh, these SR units and their mathematical symbols in lots of calculations that you do in later videos in this series. Uh, so they are really important to make sure that you understand them so that when we come across them in a later video, they don't catch us out by surprise and we don't know uh, what that symbol represents. So these are really important to electricians. So hopefully that video has been of some use to you and all that remains in this video is to say thank you very much for watching.